This morning we have the first day of the 2014 SWAT basic course. It's also a selection course for the Salt Lake City Police Department. We're looking for candidates to fill vacancies on the SWAT team. And uh, the obstacle course we're testing for their physical stamina, but throughout the course of the week we'll also be uh, testing their decision-making skills and uh, mental stamina as well. Seven. 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 This is a difficult course. The days are long. They start usually at sun up and don't go to bed until after midnight. So you're looking over the course of a week of 100 hours of training. And that training includes uh, not just the, the physical aspect of it, there's uh, classroom work, but then they put that into practical exercises throughout the day, throughout the week, and uh, by the end of the week, you're looking at near nearly 100 hours of, uh, of hard training. We do have vacancies on our team, and we're evaluating how they are performing during the week. We're looking to fill those vacancies. It's important for us because they're going to be placed in positions where they're going to have to make decisions and uh, we need to know that they're gonna be able to do that in all sorts of adverse conditions. Often with uh, sleep deprived uh, or on uh, very long-term um, adverse weather situations, high hazard situations that are extraordinary events that require an additional response other than the standard police response. That evolution will tell you what to do, okay? You will complete everything, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, come back here. There are 21 candidates in the course right now from seven agencies. They're from uh, surrounding jurisdictions in the surrounding counties, but there are four candidates from the country of Brazil. And the reasoning behind that is that they're uh, sponsoring the World Cup this year and then in 2016, the Summer Olympics. And so they asked, you know, and as uh, you know, as a measure of goodwill, of course, we said, yeah, having sponsored the Olympics, that's why they, they that's why they reached out to us, that we'd be happy to have them here. So that's kind of something unique to this school this year. Get on my log, let's go. It's slick. It's a middle challenge, focus. Let's go. Doesn't take any strength to walk a beam. Focus, it's all focus right here. Big deep breaths, focus. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Come on. Go. 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 Nice technique. Go to the way there. Strong and steady. Now, I'll tell you that this morning when this course was being prepared, the water was frozen on the apparatus and it's muddy as well. We've got a lot of rain. So today, uh, maybe tack 30 seconds on to that, maybe even a minute. Um, the times have been much slower than it is in better weather. So the students, the candidates will go through scenarios that require them to act and make decisions. Now, a lot of times that is uh, recalling what they've seen and being able to report that in a written document or taking actions, uh, uh, use of force situations where they then have to recall that to a board and give their justification for doing that. A whole number of things throughout the week that'll require them to exercise their, their mind, if you will, it, it, being very sleep deprived. We probably end up losing percentage wise. Some years 10%, uh, some years just a little bit higher than that. 
I have looked at the candidates and there is a brief selection component to this, so they've all passed physical firearms test prior to even getting here and so they're looking pretty they're looking pretty strong and we hope that we uh, we hope we'd not lose any this year because the SWAT team is not a full-time assignment everybody that's on the SWAT team has another duty within their respective departments their agencies so uh, it requires living a disciplined lifestyle you'll have to volunteer your time daily, as we would expect of all police officers, to take care of your body and your education in, and balance that with your, your life outside of the department and then your regular workload. So it does require a disciplined lifestyle and then when we're provided the opportunity to train together, we dovetail that discipline lifestyle into teamwork. And that's an important component, if not the most important of the SWAT team, is that these skills, this equipment, this afforded opportunity to train uh, brings everyone together to work as a team. Currently we have seven vacancies on the team. Now whether or not we actually fill all of those positions from the candidates is yet to be seen. A again, our intent or our hope would be that uh, the candidates would be uh, show themselves uh, trainable and um, be able to actually bring them in to fill all seven positions. Those vacancies have existed, some of them, for uh, several years. We just haven't had the numbers or the persons uh, ready for those positions within our agency. All right, let's go. Move it. The, the proximity to Salt Lake City, we typically do this sort of training in our in Salt Lake City. Right, we have four officers from Brazil here this year. It's kind of unique. We don't typically have international students, but we got a request from them because they're hosting the World Cup this year and the Summer Olympics in 2016 to have four candidates come through this SWAT school in preparation for that. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was pretty tough. We, two years ago, we've been training with David Acosta that was a police officer here, and he trained us in Brazil. And the spots opened this year for us, and we started training a lot of physical, uh, the physical part to be in, in shape when we came here. We have been, uh, we've been having a little difficult to adjust to the altitude, because where we come from Brazil, we're at sea level, and here in Salt Lake, it's almost 2,000 meters up. So it's been pretty hard, but we'll, we'll manage and we'll get through the, the week. Yeah, the, this year we're, we're going to receive the World Cup uh, there in Brazil. Yeah. And in a couple of years, we are going to receive the Olympic Games there. So we're here to share some experience with big events and we uh, are going to take it back home to share with our partners there. Yes, yeah, so Salt Lake was a, an excellent choice that were that presented to us because because they they have already received the, the, the Winter Olympics. So we also are coming here to share that, to have them share that knowledge with us so we can take back home and better train our, 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 our colleagues. Uh, it probably will be, probably be a, a, a million people, a lot of people, but since it's going to be wide uh, in various different states, then uh, I don't know how much our state, because we are a, state poli a statewide police, what we're going to do so, we don't know how much people will be receiving there. However, we will have a lot of games there, since one of the official stadiums are, is located in our city, in our capital city. <coughs> well, uh, bem, estou feliz Páscoa <risos> para o pessoal, porque nós estamos aqui, não conseguimos passar a Páscoa com a nossa família, mas feliz Páscoa para o pessoal e um abraço para todo mundo que está aí no Rio Grande do Sul torcendo por nós. É, foi, foi difícil chegar aqui, mas nós conseguimos. Nós tivemos o apoio de alguns amigos que nos auxiliaram a chegar até onde nós estamos, sem contar com os familiares que sempre nos apoiaram para chegar aqui. Então a gente abriu mão de algumas coisas lá para a gente conseguir atingir o nosso objetivo que era chegar aqui na SWAT School. Nós estamos muito felizes com esse obrigado.